Hello, my name is Matthew Brandymont. I am the president and CEO of Row Brand Industries, Inc. And along with my co-founder, Mr. Stephen Rogers and Mr. Arnold Weissman, our professional engineer, who you will hear from elsewhere in this video. We would like to introduce you to our fundraising campaign for our first zero emission solid waste energy manufacturing facility to be built in the United States. This proposed facility will be designed as a 100% carbon capture manufacturing plant. And this facility will meet and exceed all governmental environmental regulations and guidelines. In addition, we will seek to make this plant a LEED certified recycling manufacturing facility. Additionally, we are going to establish a research and development division. And its first assignment for this group is to design a commercialized carbon decomposition system for our plants. Please enjoy our presentation. Come gather around people wherever you roam And admit that the waters around you have grown And accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone Give your time to you as well inventions say. power, black out the past Forget the quiet cities, bring in the steam and steel The iron men, the giants Open the throttle, all aboard, the promised land Pillars of smoke by day, pillars of fire by night, pillars of progress. Machines to make machines, production to expand production. There's wood and wheat and kitchen sinks and calico, all ready made in tons and carload lots. Enough for tens, thousands, millions, millions, faster and faster, better and better. some health issues and can be a real environmental threat. For uh, hundreds of years, people dispose of their waste. They just threw it in open lands. They threw it in the woods. They threw it in streams. Recycling and to keep toxic things out of the landfill. And this is where we collect all of our uh, tires, which comes from auto tires, small ones, to require a lot of packaging um, that all winds up at, at the landfills. <laughs> Are you excited yet? Well, the fact that you've watched this far tells us that you are, and we're grateful for that. My name is Steve Rogers, and I'm co-founder of Row Brand Industries. And what I want to do is just bring you up to date on what we've done so far collectively. We've been able to spend about $4 million in pre-development costs for our project. This has allowed us to secure about $1.6 billion in senior funding. We've also been able to procure over 800 acres of land in the eastern seaboard of the United States. This land has certain advantages. For example, all the infrastructure that we need to build this project is right there for us. We've also acquired letters of intent in which we will get paid to take waste, such as municipal solid waste, construction debris, as well as tires and other things. However, at this time, we won't be taking any hazardous materials. We also have contracts to sell over 200 million gallons of synthetic diesel with very low sulfur emissions, which is a byproduct of what our plant does when we take in this waste. We will also be able to sell green particle board. In addition to that, we're going to have an excess of 246 megawatts of electricity to be able to allocate to the electric grid with our smart grid technology. All amazing things that this business model has to offer. This project too will create over 2,000 construction jobs for a three year period. Think about that for a moment, especially with today's economy. And in addition to that, we're gonna have 500 permanent jobs that are gonna be well paying with benefits for many people who are desirous of working hard. Yes, truly an accomplishment, and we're grateful for your help in moving this endeavor along. We're also expanding here in North America, 
particularly here in the United States. And we're also looking at properties in Europe as well as the South Pacific. We are very enthusiastic about this paradigm shift that you are helping us to create, being able to take waste out of our society and do something productive with it. We don't have to bury it in the ground anymore. We don't have to pollute the air. We don't have to dump it into our ocean or waterways. Remember, our business model is zero emissions. No air, no sewer, no ground, no water pollution of any My name is Arnold Weitzman. I'm the owner's representative to Rogue Grand Industries for their first solid waste to energy and manufacturing facility. I joined this endeavor because I am concerned about the planet's environment and I believe that Rogue Grand's facility will help improve the environment. Steve Rogers and the previous slides have indicated this is a zero emissions facility. In other words, solid garb waste garbage comes in and new products go out. No waste leaves the facility. And these products include low sulfur diesel fuel, formaldehyde free particle board, 2 million gallons of pure distilled water daily which is a very valuable product around the world. Aggregate for concrete products and 240 megawatts of electric power sent to the grid. And finally, we make pure liquid CO2, which is sold to the food and the pharmaceutical industry for them to produce their products. As engineers, owner's representative, I have two responsibilities. The first is to ensure that the engineering firm and contractor meet the obligations of their contract to Robren Industries and to maintain our required schedule. Robren Industries has prepared a concept layout and performance specifications for this facility. The location for the first facility is selected and Robran has met with the local and state government and they are in favor of this project. Numerous engineering firms have been interviewed and several have been selected. We will be using the design build process for this project. The design engineers will prepare the preliminary design. This preliminary design will be submitted to an insurance company who will be providing the designers with insurance against the losses for expenses and profits to all of us uh, who are investing in this company. Um, the insurance company will give it the plans to a engineer who will review it to determine if the design will produce the production levels we're claiming and minimize risk of breakdown of the plant. The preliminary design should take about two to four months. And once the insurance company approves the uh, preliminary design, uh, Robrand will be able to uh, access the 1.6 billion US dollars senior funding 
to uh, hire a construction contractor to commence with the final design and construction of the facility, which will take about three years. My second responsibility is to establish a research and development division for Robrain. This has already begun. Robrain is committed to commercializing a CO2, carbon dioxide decomposition process. Now, what is decomposition? We take carbon dioxide gas, we pass it through this process, and when it comes out on the other side, it's pure carbon and pure oxygen, thereby eliminating carbon dioxide from the waste stream. This is a very exciting thing. This is what excites me most about this project, is the fact that we're eliminating a greenhouse gas. And this will, in the future, improve global warming. The fundraising campaign is to assist us in completing the preliminary design plans and review and approval uh, so that we can ensure uh, a better future for the next generation.